Okay, um, so welcome to our study abroad 101 presentation. Um, just a little bit about myself before we start. My name is Ayushi and I work for the Google Education Office. Um, I did two study abroad programs myself. I went to Italy and Russia. Um, some fun facts about me. I am an international student here from India. Um, one other fun fact about me is that me and my roommate, we actually met while she was doing a similar exchange program in India. And now we have been rooming together for almost four years. So I think that's pretty, it's pretty cool. Um, we're going to skip this slide. Um, just an overview of what we will be going over in this presentation. So why you should participate in a global education program. Um, what are some requirements and something about earning credit, um, different types of programs that we offer, housing, funding and scholarships, and what next steps you should be taking if you're interested in studying abroad. So why participate in a global education program? It broadens your perspective of countries and culture. Um, so obviously when you're studying abroad, you meet so many different people from all over the world. Um, and when you talk to them, you kind of realize how different but similar you are in a sense. And you also get to grow your independence and become an active learner. For me personally, as an international student studying abroad, it really helped me gain my financial independence. Back home, I never really thought of making a budget or planning out my entire month. But when you're living alone, you have to make certain decisions by yourself. So that also makes you more confident in your decision-making abilities. And next thing is it helps you be more competitive on today's global job market. It's a great thing to have on your resume. It lets your employer know the kind of exposure you have had during your college years. Um, this is just a short video of students who have done a study abroad program through us in the past. So we can all take a small look at it. My name is Brittany Ferguson. I'm a criminal justice major and I studied abroad in Florence, Italy. I was studying in Santiago, Chile. In Sharjah. I went on a study abroad trip to the Netherlands studying mobility solutions there. I learned as much in those 15 months as I did in the 18 or 19 years of my life before that. And I have just as many memories because when you're abroad, literally every day is an adventure. Um, my experience was by far the best collegiate experience that I've had um, throughout my four years here at ASU. While I was studying abroad, I actually got the opportunity to work at Comic-Con in Dubai, and it gave me the opportunity to learn about myself in a different context than I ever had before. The whole time it was very inviting. Uh, everyone was very nice. I almost felt at home. I think a lot of people just think it's study abroad, it's expensive. I'm not even going to go check it out. But I think that is, you know, a problem. That's something I don't want people to do because you miss out on great opportunities. There's so many scholarships available for your major, for the country you're going to. I applied for the Gilman Scholarship and I ended up winning that. Um, a good portion of what I needed for my program, which was very exciting. I didn't think I'd be able to go abroad because of my the injury I have. I have a spinal cord injury and I use a wheelchair. The study abroad office helped me out so much with that. Studying abroad really just solidified my um, motivation to want to be an agent of change. So I think the big thing is to just do it. You know, just it's a mindset more than anything, I think. But you learn from a lot of different people and you learn a lot about the world itself in a way that just being at ASU or just anywhere in particular won't teach you. Okay. So if you guys don't know, um, we were earlier called the Study Abroad Office, but we changed our name to the Global Education Office. Um, the reason behind that was because we offer programs in all of these things. So if you want to go to a program for research, you want to go do an internship, um, service learning, online global learning, or if you want to do a more traditional form of study abroad, we have programs for all of these things. We do offer 300 plus programs in 65 plus countries that range from a week to a year long. These are some of our deadlines. Um, so as of right now, we have our deadline coming up for spring semester, which is going to be September 25th. If you guys want to click a picture, you can, but we also have all these deadlines mentioned 
on our program brochure pages. So what are some of the requirements? Um, these are really basic requirements. So you need to have a cumulative GPA of 2.0 or higher. You should be a degree seeking student. Um, you should also be in good standing with the ASU code of conduct. Then we have some other requirements that vary by program. For some of them, you might need to have taken some prerequisite courses. Um, for some of them, you might need to have some foreign language proficiency. Um, and then we also have programs based off of your major and your class standing. So the credits you take abroad count towards your GPA. So you are staying on track for graduation. You also maintain your honors and scholarship status. And if you have no foreign language experience, that's not a problem at all. We have programs that allow you to go study abroad without being proficient in the local language of the country that you're visiting um, and allows you to take classes in English. So these are just some different types of programs we offer. Um, these are the four different types. Faculty Directed Programs, GIE, Partnership and Exchange. Um, our Faculty Directed Programs and GIE programs are more short-term programs, and then Partnership and Exchange are more long-term programs. So talking about the Faculty Directed Programs first, um, they're offered for summer. They're two to eight weeks long. So in these types of programs, you will be accompanied with ASU faculty and ASU students. Um, and you also receive a predetermined ASU course credit for these programs, meaning that you don't have the flexibility to decide what credit you'll end up receiving if you go on that program. And they're highly structured, um, which means that the program fee you pay covers your tuition, your housing, and some other program costs. Next is our GIE programs, which stands for Global Intensive Experiences. They are, again, short term. They are offered for 7 to 12 days over session break. Again, you're accompanied with ASU faculty and ASU students. And how this program works is that it's kind of divided into two parts. So for part A of the program, you will just be taking a normal class like you would your any other semester. And then for part B of that program, you'll actually go get the real world experience of what you learned in that class. So it does combine your in-class learning with real-world experiences. And the program fee for GIE includes your housing and some other program costs. It does not include your tuition because when you'll be taking that class over, over your semester, you'll already be paying for those credits. Um, next, coming on to our long-term programs, we have our partnership program type. Um, they are offered for a semester, summer, AB sessions. They can also be a year long. Um, so our partnership programs are more kind of spoon fed. So you have on-site on -site staff available to help you out. You take classes with local, international, and or US students. And these classes are often taught in English. So if you don't have the foreign language proficiency, this is a great program you can look into. Um, and the program fee for partnership program includes your tuition, your housing, your health insurance, and some excursions you'll be taking while you're on that program. Next, coming on to our exchange program type, which is again, long-term, offered for summer, semester, can also be a year long. They're more independent and more immersive. So you take classes with local faculty, um, local students at a local university. And sometimes these classes can be offered in their local language. Um, so for exchange programs, you might see um, that sometimes on the program brochure page, it might say you need to be proficient in the local language. Also with exchange programs, since they're more independent, you arrange for your own housing, you obtain your own visa and plan your own excursions. Um, I know it sounds scarier than it is, but you'll always help you always have help along the way um, from our office. Um, we will provide you with a bunch of resources. Um, and the program fee for exchange program includes your ASU tuition like you pay every semester. So there's no added charge with exchange programs. Um, so talking about long-term programs, these are some of our special programs that we offer. They are 
based around the problems students usually face when they are deciding to study abroad. So these programs are Global Flex, Global Network, and Open Campus. So let's get into it, talking about the Global Flex program first. So with this program, you have the ability to take to mix and match things so you can take some in-person classes and some online classes. So as you can tell by the name, this program is really flexible. And if you wanna study abroad, but you're facing the problem that you are not able to take that one specific class that you really need to graduate, um, this is a great program for that. Um, you can take that class um, online and still be able to participate on a study abroad program. So, the program length depends. Um, this program is usually divided into three blocks and each block is six weeks long. So you, you're you free to choose how many blocks you wanna go for. Um, you wanna go for one block, two block, or all three blocks. Um, who is this a good fit for? So it's a good fit for students with a tight degree program who think they can study abroad and what it helps with. So you are, um, so if you have any required classes that you need to take online, you're able to combine that with your in-person classes studying abroad or an internship. Next, coming on to the Global Network Program. So this program addresses the problem of affordability. So with this program, you're able to participate and go on a study abroad program, which costs the same as your semester here at ASU. So who is this a good fit for? It's a good fit for students who are worried about if studying abroad is expensive, um, because you can use your ASU scholarships and financial aid towards this program and study abroad for the same cost as a semester on campus. We also offer 30 different locations with our global network program, and you also have international internships available with this. Next is our open campus program. So this addresses the problem of mobility. So if you're facing the problem of you want to visit more than one place in your one semester studying abroad. This is a great program for that. Um, so students who can't decide on one location, you can participate on the open campus program, which gives you an option to decide between multiple locations and you can choose a different location for every block. Um, so students can rotate locations every six weeks on their study abroad program. Um, you have five different continents to choose from and multiple, multiple locations. Now let's talk about the internship programs that we offer. Um, so all of our internship programs are first of all ASU credit based. So you earn three to six ASU internship credits um, that can count towards your degree required um, degree requirement. Um, you also gain international professional work experience. And with these programs, you don't have to worry about finding an internship yourself. You have to let us know like the kind of um, internship you're looking for, what kind of sector you wanna intern in, and we are the ones that are gonna find an internship for you. So you have internships that are available in a wide variety of industries um, and programs work with you to find an internship that connects you with personal, um, connects you with your personal and career goals. Um, so there's also a pro tip, which I'm going to show you when we are on to the website tour, um, just so it's easier for you to like, um, understand that. Um, coming on to how to pick a program. So a lot of students think they can only participate on a program, um, that's related to their major. That's not true. Um, you can also earn credit for your minor certificate, gen eds, or electives, or you could pursue a new passion, interest, or experience. And how that would work is we all have electives on our major map. So if you don't wanna take uh, a program directly related to your major, you can always just knock out all of those electives in your study abroad semester. You can also decide on a program depending on the length and location. Um, some more information on housing abroad. So your options include homestays, off-campus apartments, on-campus residence hall, hotels, hostels. So it's gonna be different for different program types. Um, we also ask our students to set realistic expectations. So let's imagine if you're going to France, 
you can't expect to have housing that opens up to the view of Eiffel Tower. It's going to be like normal student housing. Also, more information on specific housing offered for specific programs. We do ask you to check out the program brochure page. Um, next is funding your program. Many students think they can't participate on a program because it's too expensive, but that's a myth. Um, GEO awards over $1 million in scholarship annually, and a lot of ASU scholarships and financial aid that you already have apply to most of our programs. So sometimes it can cost the same or less than a semester here at ASU. So this is our ASU scholarship brochure. Um, so if you have any of these ASU scholarships, they apply to all these different programs. So let's say if you have the New American Scholarship, it would apply to our GIE programs and long-term exchange partnership and Global Flex program. If you have any questions about um, your ACU scholarship applying towards your um, study abroad program, we do ask you to contact the financial aid and scholarship services um, just because they would have um, access to your to your financials, so they would be able to advise you better on that. Now, talking about some of the scholarship scholarships offered by our office for studying abroad. So we have, uh, first we have the GeoGo Global Grant. It's based on financial need and you can be awarded up to $2,000 for that. Next is our Geo Merit Scholarship based on academic performance. Again, you can be awarded up to $2,000 for that scholarship. Um, and next is this Geo Access Scholarship. It is for ASU online students only, for which you can again receive up to $2,000. Um, we also came up with a new scholarship, which is the Geo International Student. So this is for international students based on their academic performance, and you can receive up to $2,000 again. Um, our next scholarship is your World Your Choice Scholarship. It's only for global flex or global network programs. Um, and you can receive up to $1,500 in awards again. Our last scholarship is local to global scholarship, which is offered if you're doing two blocks of global flex or ASU summer global internship. Um, and you also have to be an Arizona resident to be eligible for this scholarship. And with this, you can receive up to $4,000 in awards. Next is our Gilman Scholarship. Um, it's a federal study abroad scholarship for which you can receive up to $5,000. Um, you can receive an additional $1,000 if you're a STEM major. So I would definitely look into the scholarship if you are eligible. So you must be a US citizen. You should be a Pell Grant recipient and going on an international program. They also have some preference um, with diversity in student and location. You also have to write a detailed, engaging essay for the scholarship. Here's the deadline for the scholarship. And if you need any help with that, you can always reach out to this office mentioned below. Um, okay, some more about ASU scholarships. So a lot of students don't know, but ASU departments offer study abroad scholarships. So WP Carey has their own scholarship for studying abroad. Um, if you just type on Google WP Carey study abroad um, scholarship, that's gonna be the first thing that pulls up. So I would definitely look it up online, um, if not just directly asking your department about it. Um, also check out our scholarship search for additional scholarship opportunities. Um, I can show you where the scholarship search option is when we are on the website tour. Next, attend a financing your global education program workshop. It's held every other week um, and it just dives deeper into funding your program and how you can maximize your scholarship opportunities. Um, okay, again, a shout out to our social media. So if you wanna hear some great vlogs about students studying abroad, I would highly recommend checking out our WordPress account. Um, yeah. And some next steps you should be taking if you're interested in studying abroad. If you need more help deciding on what kind of program you want to do, which would suit your um, schedule the best, you can book a peer advising appointment with us. It's just a one-on-one -on -one appointment where one of our peer, peer advisors is going to sit down with you and tell you um, 
what program might be better for you. Um, you should also meet with your academic advisor to see what classes you should be taking in order to stay on track for graduation. Start researching programs on our website, that's goglobal.asu.edu. And then finally, start applying for scholarships. So to give you guys a website walkthrough, I am just gonna go on our site right here, which is goglobal.asu.edu. So this is our website. And if you scroll down to where it says, discover your dream program, we have these two main highlights right here. The first one is study abroad by major. So these are gonna be all, all of our major guides. It's gonna show you all the recommended programs for, for that certain major. So just to give you an example, I'm gonna go with my major, which is gonna be in WP Carey. And it's gonna be data analytics, view programs, and it's gonna show you all the recommended programs for that major. So that's one way you can look at different types of programs. Um, one other way you can filter out some of the programs is by using our search bar. So if you click on search over 300 plus programs, um, you are taken into our advanced filter search um, site. And you can put as many filters as you want, and it's going to narrow down a bunch of programs for you. So let's say you want to do a program in France, and you want the program to be an exchange program. Um, you can also put in like your major right here in the area of study. And I don't know if you guys remember, but the pro tip, the pro tip for the internships is if you're looking for a program that allows you to do an internship, I would just click yes here. And it's going to show you all the programs that allow you to do an internship. Um, yeah, so you can click on as many filters as you want, and it's going to narrow down a list after you hit the search option. Um, so these are your option for exchange programs in France. Um, let's look at this program right here. So once you click on that link, it takes you to the program brochure page. Program snapshot is just gonna be like the quick facts on the program. Um, what's the program type, what GPA you need. Um, so it also tells you one main thing, which is like who your international coordinator is gonna be. And that's the person that directly manages this program through our office. So that's going to be your point of contact in case you need any additional information on it. Um, you have any doubts, you need more clarification on anything. This person is going to be your point of contact. Here's some more information on the program. You can see the deadline and everything, the start date, end date for the program. Coming on to location and housing. Now, since this is an exchange program, um, housing is usually not provided for. You have to like go in and get your housing yourself. Um, and then now coming on to the course info part, which is really important. This is where you would actually decide your classes. So if you click on view pre-approved courses, these are all the classes that are gonna be offered on the program. So we have something called like a course equivalency. So for example, a course called Psych 101 at ASU could be called by a different name at the foreign university. So Psych 101 here could be Psych 200 at the foreign university. And if you're taking that course abroad, you will still end up receiving credit for Psych 101. So let's say if you take this class on your program, this is the credit this is the class you will receive credit for here at ASU. Um, so for this part, we usually advise that you meet with your academic advisor just because they have access to, to your major map. They can let you know, okay, these are the classes you need to take. Now coming on to the program cost tab, um, let's look at the fall semester cost sheet. So since this is an exchange program, the cost sheet is gonna be different for different types of programs. Um, I'll go through it like after this one. So this is how it would look for an exchange program. Um, the billable item subtotal is gonna be the amount that you would owe to ASU. So this amount would be, these are just some mandatory fee that you have to pay 
for participating on a study abroad program. Now this fee is on top of your regular ASU tuition. So it's not just this amount that you'll be paying, it's this plus your regular ASU tuition. And then we have our non-billable item subtotal, which is gonna be your out-of-pocket expense. So you don't really owe this amount to anybody. It's just that it gives you a good estimate of what you might be spending money on. So since it's an exchange program and housing would be your responsibility, you can see like a good breakdown of where your money might go. And this amount usually always depends on how you budget out your trip. Um, so it could be way more or way less than this amount. Um, it's just an average of what students have spent in the past. Now, if we go back to program search, um, just to show you like the different cost sheets and how that would work for different programs, um, let's try looking at the partnership program. Let's look at one of our global network programs. Um, actually, let me look at an ISA program. So again, everything else is going to be the same um, on the program brochure page. Um, one other thing that's going to be different is if you click on location and housing, it's going to tell you the different housing options you would have with this program. Um, coming on to the program cost tab. So as you see right here, it's going to be a bit different than the exchange cost sheet. The billable item subtotal, again, would be the amount charged on your My ASU. Um, and this amount right here would include your tuition for the entire semester, your housing, your health insurance, and some excursions you take while you're on that trip. Um, and then coming on to the non-billable item subtotal, again, it's going to be your out-of-pocket expense. Um, and as you can see here for housing, it should say $0 just because it's a partnership pro program and it's already included in the amount that you pay to ASU. So that's how it would look for long-term partnership program. Um, the cost sheet for um, our short-term programs is a bit different. So let's try looking at this FD program that we have. Um, one thing that's going to be different with this one is that it's going to tell you the credit you'll receive if you go in the program. So you don't have the flexibility to decide what credit you'll end up receiving. So for example, if you go on this program, this is the credit you're going to end up receiving. Um, and coming on to the program cost tab, it's TBD right now, but it's usually pretty similar to like the other cost sheets. Um, yeah. Now let me go back. So that's one way you guys can um, look at the different program types. Um, just play around with the filters, see which program suits you the best. Um, coming on to the scholarships and financial aid. If you click on the scholarship and financial aid button right here, you have the same ASU scholarship brochure you can look at. Um, also, if you are um, an online student and if you have any corporate scholarships like SCAP or Uber, they would also apply towards our program. So if you need more information on it, I would just follow that link um, and that information. Let me go back. Um, and these are all of the geo scholarships that we talked about. Um, you can click on these links and apply towards the scholarship and just in general, get more information on it. And this is gonna be our search scholarship option where you can find more than 100 plus national scholarships. So if you click right here, it's again gonna give you like a filter search. So you can put in different filters according to your own um, specifications. Um, for example, if you want to look at um, the departmental scholarships with WP Carey, I would just put that for college and do search. And it's going to show you the WP Carey study abroad scholarship um, that we talked about. And 
Here's some more information on um, other things. So if you want more information being an ASU online student, you can always try using these links. If you're, in, if you're an international student, if you hold a corporate scholarship. Um, so all these links are here to like help you out. So feel free to like explore the website um, and see everything that we talked about should be on the website. But that's about it. Um, and if you guys um, have any questions about studying abroad or you come across any doubts, um, please feel free to call us at this number or just email us at goglobal.asu.edu. Um, one more thing I want to add before um, I'm done is if you are interested in booking a peer advising appointment, this is where you would go and actually book your appointment. But yeah, thank you.